Day 28 of our total consecration to Jesus through Mary, Our Lady and the Holy Spirit. Words of St. John Paul II. O oh Mary, you who are the mother of the church, obtain for the church the gift of the Holy Spirit, so that she may know how to continue with perseverance into the future through the way of renewal already marked by the Holy Spirit, so that she may be able to take upon such renewal everything which is truthful and good, regularly discerning between the signs of the times what works for the coming of the reign of God. Words of our Mother Fangis, Mother Adela Galindo. Why is it so important that we pray insistently for a new Pentecost and that we do it together with Mary because the Blessed Mother has been called to, to called by the church and in a particular way by St. Francis of Assisi, the spouse of the Holy Spirit. The word spouse conveys the intimate and close relationship between Mary and the Holy Spirit. This particular and intimate union between Mary and the Holy Spirit begins at the moment of her immaculate conception in the womb of her mother, St. Anne. In and through this mystical union, God preserved Mary free from original sin. He also filled her with such an abundance of grace that one day would, be, would allow her to become the mother of God. She is the supreme masterpiece of the Holy Spirit, which not only reveals, but it makes us see more clearly the works of the Holy Spirit, the works that the Holy Spirit want to accomplish in all creatures. The relationship between Mary and the Holy Spirit is one of receptive and fruitful love. Due to Mary's receptivity to the grace and power of the Holy Spirit, who came to her and overshadowed her at the moment of the Annunciation, she became abundantly fruitful when she conceived in her womb the Word made flesh. May God bless you.